What is up guys, Andrew here and welcome to Comic Booker. All things comics from a creator. So the past few weeks have been a little busy, a little crazy for me. You might remember from my last video that I spoke about having finally gotten my work permit, which allows me to pursue professional work here in the US. Well, that's exactly what I did and uh, I've just, I dove straight into it and I now have my first commission project, which is kind of like a, a you know, a 10 part illustration project where I get to draw album art for a, a music album. Uh, and it's really cool because the scope of the project is is really l kind of like refined and limited uh, while at the same time being super open. It's set in this futuristic cyberpunk city, but the, the client request was like to, to do a kind of multimedia approach to the whole thing, taking a page from people like Dave McKean and Bill Sienkiewicz. So I've been painting, I've been drawing, I've been taking photographs and kind of compositing that all together into these these awesome illustrations uh, that's, that are gonna go onto the music album. Um, the other cool thing that happened the last two weeks is I, I met up with one of my friends, writer Steve Fox, who has done a lot of work uh, for children's books and for comics. Uh, he's done Spider-Ham, Grumpy Cat, Pokemon, Mario. Uh, we've actually worked together in the past. We did a short story called The Tower for this um, tarot comic book collection. Uh, and that was a really good experience, but we've been wanting to do something, you know, more long form uh, ever since then. So I'm excited. Uh, right now we're in this concept art phase, so it's a lot of ideas flowing back and forth. I'm drawing a lot. I'm coming up with some cool-ish visuals and and Steve is coming in with a lot of ideas and it's it's sort of forming up, you know. It's that exciting part at the start of every project where there's so much potential and you want to just make the coolest looking thing you could possibly make. So yeah, more on that. I can't talk about it much right now because obviously it's too early to talk about anything. I'm really excited for that and that's probably going to be my next big comics project. Last cool thing that happened uh, last three weeks is uh, I met up with Marvel artist Luciano Vecchio, who's currently drawing champions, and he's done Weekend and Hulkling, and uh, he just created an X-Men character called Somnus, and a whole bunch of other cool things. Anyway, he was visiting New York, so we hung out for a bit while he was here, and he super generously showed off uh, some of his iPad process, his, his, his comics process for how he makes his professional art. A lot of it is centered around Clip Studio, which is a program I don't use as much as I should. I'm really more of a procreate person. And ever since that meeting with Luciano, I've been trying to do more and more Clip Studio stuff just so I get better at it. I can use it as my main workflow, uh, at least for making comics and using that really cool brush engine. So I've been drawing this, I drew that, uh, and it's been a really good experience. So since we're talking right now, I wanted to share with you guys three super cool books that I've discovered in the last week. The first book, whoops. The first book is uh, this graphic novel by Dave McKean called Raptor, a so-called graphic novel. And it's published by Dark Horse. It just came out this month. And I, I think it's Dave McKean's first full graphic novel in a few years. I'm a huge Dave McKean fan. You may know him from Sandman, uh, Mirror Mask, and a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't finished reading it yet because I'm trying to read it slowly, but the art is just, ah, uh, it's beautiful. It, 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 it's, it flits between all sorts of media from watercolor to oils to photography to, to pen and ink. And, um, you know, it just does that thing that Dave McKean does, which so well, which is jump from mood to mood, style to style, as the story requires, uh, never losing kind of the personality, um, of his overriding personality. Uh, I would look at this for inspiration, like constantly, especially with that music project I just started working on. The second book I recommend is Alone in Space, a collection of short stories, uh, short comic stories by Tilly Walden, who did this book called On a Sunbeam, which I really love. It's a big fat book, like one long, graphic novel, you know, sit down and enjoy it over an afternoon novel. Uh, but here she's um, showing off a lot of her shorter form work. And I love short form comics. Uh, my first book was basically just a, a you know, a collection of short comics. Um, and here Tilly is uh, doing a lot of stories, despite the shortness of it. Um, there's, there's a lot of like decompression and slow pace to the stories and the way they build. And that's something I'm trying to learn from uh, because I tend to rush into things with my stories and like hyper compress things too much. Uh, so I'm really excited to, 
to sort of dig into this. I've read uh, three or four of them and they've been really heartfelt and, and heartbreaking. Uh, so fair warning, you know, some of these things might make you cry. Uh, but but yeah, check this book out. It's it's nice. It's, it's a, a sweet little acoustic performance, uh, several of them. The last book I want to share with you guys isn't a comic book. It's an art book called Family Traits, a fantastic bestiary of a father and his sons. And it's by Thomas Romain and it's Suke and Rayonosuke. And uh, it's published by Udon Studios. And the basic thing is the guy's sons draw all these cool characters. And because he's an illustrator, he takes those characters and interprets them in his really awesome style. And it's really great to see just how faithful he is to the original drawings, you know? I think it's really inspiring because, you know, sometimes I draw something and I think, mm, it's a cool idea, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to execute this. This shows you a really cool like before and after, you know, the, the germ of the idea and the idea as fully realized by like uh, an experienced person's skills and thoughts. And just, you know, how he's able to respect the original shapes and colors that, that um, his sons put down uh, while still making a, a really compelling character design and character concept. And obviously I'm doing a lot of concept art right now uh, for that other project. So this has been really exciting and inspiring. I'm going to leave a link to a website where you can look at their stuff. Uh, and yeah, you should just Google this book, check it out. So yeah, that's it. It's been a little over a year since I started this channel. And uh, despite my ups and downs in being able to put videos out, um, I think I'm getting good at putting something out every week. Um, and, you know, uh, we're at 300 something subscribers now. So thank you so much for watching my videos and for subscribing. Um, if you want to see any type of content from the channel, if you have questions you want me to answer or, or any sort of thing, like maybe you want more drawing videos or, or you, you want me to talk about what it's like to do this or that, uh, just, just please like leave a comment below. I read every comment. Uh, I do my best to respond. And um, yeah, I'm open to all suggestions because, you know, I want to make this the best channel it can possibly be. And, and I can do that with your help. Yeah. So that's it. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.